Okay, and here we have the final completed project for the Seek Thermal Co-Witness uh, experiment. And what we have here is this is a Caltech SU-16. I, I just happen to want to use this one because the little fold-out bipod makes it easy to set it down so I can show you. Uh, and that's just a basic BSA uh, scope. As you can see, uh, you have the Android phone mounted, and this is it was an old OtterBox case. So I use a, if you if you have an OtterBox case, you can adapt it to this, uh, and you can also snap the phone right out and still use it for whatever. In this case, this was my old phone, so I thought what a perfect way to do this. Let's swing around to the front a little bit. Actually, let me move this into the light a little better. Uh, you can see basically what we have is we have a. Uh, uh, a rail just for mounting like flashlights or accessories on a scope. You can get them for like 15 bucks on Amazon. Uh, you have a highly modified one inch scope ring. Uh, you might want to go with a uh, 30 millimeter scope ring uh, because it'll be oversized. You can maybe use some epoxy to fill it in or something to uh, bring it up to size rather than grinding metal like I did to get, uh, get the hole big enough for your PVC. All this is half inch PVC. Uh, you have a coupler that the uh, scope ring is clamped on to with a plug that's epoxied and uh, has a screw in the backing washer actually going through the otter box case for extra rigidity. Uh, a basic half inch T with plugs on either end. It's been milled out uh, with a Dremel to fit the Seek camera. A Seek XR camera which has been, uh, once I had everything milled out and fitted, I went ahead and took some uh, JB Weld water weld epoxy putty and put it inside that fitting and then bedded down the seat camera in there. The seat camera is removable uh, because I actually used like eight layers of saran wrap to give it a little bit extra space, wiggle room, then bedded it down, got it set up for the angle I wanted and all that so that it would be pretty true. Uh, let that, uh, pull the, pulled the uh, saran wrap off, let that harden up. Uh, and then coated everything with a uh, truck bed liner and this has a little bit of a texture to it so it's kind of a I think it's a little more durable than paint and it's also got a good texture so it has a nice look and a nice feel to it and the last thing I did was I did cut some grooves in each end of the T here to kind of help retain your uh, that's a just a hair tie just a black hair tie to hold that in place and finishes it and finishing it off we have a six inch micro USB extension cable so looking down the front, uh, there you go. You have a nice co-witness for your optical scope. If you're using if you're using a night vision scope, it might be more difficult since they're uh, normally not uh, not standard shaped. If you're using a clip-on system, that would work very well. You could use a night vision clip-on and kind of co-witness it with this with this Seek thermal. So walking around, there's your. Full 360 on the Seek Thermal Co-Witness gun sight. Uh, you'll also notice uh, one thing I forgot to mention. You'll notice uh, where I cut out the uh, otter box case, so you could actually record video with your uh, phone, regular video, or record Seek Thermal as you're walking around doing whatever. And there you go, Seek Thermal Co-Witness gun sight. Okay. Okay, here we have a quick demonstration of the Seek Thermal Co Witness site. Uh, what you can see is I'm looking at 3x magnification through a 3x9x40 scope out to a little bench in my backyard. Uh, if I zoom out there, you can see the bench. Now that's approximately 30 yards away. Uh, coming down and looking, here is the view of the Seek thermal camera on my uh, phone. In this case, it's a Droid Razor Max HD. Uh, the Seek thermal camera has a number of color palettes. It, currently, this is set to white hot. So you can see 
the uh, bench and those mushrooms you saw next to it, concrete mushrooms, of course they're all warm because the sun's been beating on them all day. Uh, so that's out in the yard at about 30, 30 yards. Now I have used this camera to look at, uh, look at cows and horses and deer out to about 150 yards uh, both in the afternoon or late afternoon as well as at night and you can you can't identify the target but you can spot the target out to about 150 200 yards using this seek thermal camera uh, as you can see uh, this is actually mounted on a firearm uh, and here is here is the actual seek thermal mount as you can see it's just a standard in this case a uh, otter box case that's been modified and uh, quite robustly to uh, be able to handle some shock load and everything else uh, mounted through a scope ring that was uh, sanded uh, sanded out and uh, this is actually all PVC believe it or not and then the front is the uh, PVC mounting for the Seek thermal camera now that was actually uh, cleaned out and then potted so the Seek camera fits in there very nicely uh, in a repeatable fashion it can be removed for regular use uh, again so there you go Seek thermal camera there's the uh, co-witness mount and uh, here's a view of the backyard looking through it and again that's uh, like I said you can identify uh, deer and uh, cattle things of that nature out to about a hundred cows out for sure out to 150 clicks uh, deer you got to pay attention but you can see them out to about 150 clicks uh, 150 clicks at, at night you can identify them with this uh, thermal camera so if you have a night vision scope or an adapter uh, clip-on system, you could mount that right on the front. Uh, use your night vision for, uh, for its intended use, but uh, do your co-witness and, uh, and find things, at least to, to try and find them with a wider field of view, a 20 degree field of view on the Seek thermal camera. And again, this is using a Seek XR.